Okay, this is part two to the video that I just did. So I'm wearing the same outfit. Go back to that video <laughs> that you see and listen to that first. But I want to tell you more about dreaming about a life that you love and actually transforming your life so that you're doing what you love. I just ran across in the last couple of weeks, I just ran across this journal that I started in 2015, which was when I decided I'm going to quit corporate America and I'm going to change what I'm doing because that's really bumming me out and making me sick. And I don't want to do that anymore. But what do I want to do? I have no idea. So it was so fun to find these journals. And I realized that the process that I went through, I didn't know this, but the process that I went through at the time is the process that I take my clients through now. And it starts with dreaming. And so I have a couple of tools and some and several prompts and um, some things that we can do, like some meditations, because um, I've gotten I've honed in on this more since 2015 when I did it for myself. Um, we can do some meditations. I think pranic healing is super helpful for it because it clears these energetic blockages and this junk that you might not even be aware of in your system that's blocking you from this free thinking and dreaming. So there's lots of different ways to get you primed for that. But what I noticed in those journal entries was I started writing what makes me happy, like what lights me up? What do I love to do? And what am I good at? What do other people compliment me on? And what feels easy to me? What comes natural to me? So I just started thinking in this way. I just started this, um, like loosening up my brain. I wasn't thinking about what do I think's actually possible or how in the world would I do that? Um, I wasn't thinking like that. You can't start that way. You have to start with dreaming and loosening up your brain and getting rid of all of your assumptions about what you think could actually work. I wasn't thinking, how would I actually make money on that? Because I, because that would have not gotten, that's constricting, right? That would have not gotten me to an expanded space where I could think about the possibilities and live into those that had me contracted. Like there's no way I could do that. That's not possible. Um, so you want to start off with an expanded way of looking at things and exploring your heart and exploring um, your desires. And so I have processes to take you through how to do that because I think it's, I, I don't think it comes naturally to us dreaming anymore. You know, we dream when we're a kid and then when we're an adult, we're like, we don't have time for dreams. Like dreams are for kids. You can do that at night but you got to get down to business. Um, and when I was reading where I started in 2015, it was amazing the trails that it took me down. It was kind of a meandering trail to end up where I am now, which is definitely my calling and what I want to be doing. And it was a meandering way to get here, but the way I got here was by doing the next right step and doing more of the things that I loved. So one of the things I wrote on there was food. I... I really love food, you guys. I love eating. I love cooking. I love to go to a restaurant. I really love good food. And so that was one of the things that I put on there. Um, that eventually led me to vol volunteer for the Padishu Foundation. That opened up some opportunities for me. That got me in a roundabout way. It's kind of a longer story, maybe for another time. But that in a roundabout way worked into where I'm at now and really changed some things for me. So it wasn't like I had to do something involved with food, but that got me thinking about what do I love? That got me on to volunteering, which I loved. It gave me energy. That got me a paying job, which brought in some money. That got me thinking about things that people are dealing with and how I can help, which eventually got me to starting um, coaching on my own, which I had been doing in the corporate world, but it got me back to that. Like, oh yeah, I remember. I love doing that. What if I did that by myself on my own? So it's a meandering trail, but you want to start with dreaming and not thinking about, oh, how could I fit into this box, which is a way I think I could make money, but what do I love? What do I dream about? If money were no object, if I didn't have to think about money, what would I be doing? What do I lose myself in? 
So that's how the process starts. And I have some specific ways that I can get you there so that you can start that process. I did it. It's possible. And lots of other people do it. So don't say that it's not possible for you. Don't say that you can't do that. Um, I have a process for getting you there. So if you want your life to be different, if you're like I was in 2015, like, I don't like this. This doesn't feel good. I don't want to do this anymore, but I don't know what I want to do and I don't know how to get there. I can help you with that process. So schedule a one-on-one session with me. The link is in the bio. Schedule a one-on-one coaching session and I can take you through the steps where you can begin to dream again, where you can begin to feel what excites you and what lights you up. And then you have no idea where that can take you. And it's going to be good. I 100% guarantee. But you probably can't see it right now. But I can help you see it. Okay. Give me a call. Give me an email. Contact me. Whatever way you can. Bye.